Hello. So, you join me underneath my uh, 99 Pontiac Sunfire. If this, uh, if this is public, then I posted it. I don't know if I will yet. Uh, this is mostly going to be for my benefit, but maybe if you've got one of these cars and you've got a similar problem, this might be helpful. Not sure yet. So what we've got is the automotive equivalent of cancer on the driver's and passenger side. This seems to be a common spot for this model and make. Uh, Pontiac Sunfire, as I said. The, uh, everything here should apply to a Chevy Cavalier. Same years, uh, 95 to 05, pretty sure. Uh, this is the sedan, but the coupe and the convertible have the same wheelbase, and it stands to reason that uh, GM being what GM is, or was, that uh, everything should be the same. So, let's start documenting what goes where, so I can look at this later and figure out where everything goes. So we're at the rear of the engine, facing forward. Exhaust pipe, a uh, little well, obviously. We've already got this clamp. It's only a couple years old. Already looks like crap. Yep, so that's gonna come off. Starting on the left, there we go. This is the kind of cancer we're talking about. The plan is to get all this cut out and weld in some fresh steel. This is going to be quite the undertaking because I am not a professional welder. Starting to the left of the pipe, our connection for the rear axle to the body. Back here is our shock that will be disconnected as well. On the body near our rusty spot, that is our brake line for the rear left. Down here, I might be replacing this anyway. This is our emergency brake line. It continues up here and goes into the body at that grommet there. That might get replaced. I'm not sure yet. Matter of fact, I might do new exhaust from the catalytic converter back. Time will tell. Next up. We've got a plastic bracket there, center of the screen, that is holding fuel lines in place. Looks like fuel lines, could be. Okay, a fuel line is next to it at the very least. That's our fuel filter. On to the left of the fuel filter is a tank strap. Those should all come down. Looking further in, I don't have, yeah, that's, rubber pipe, rubber hose for the fuel filler that may be able to stay where it is depending on the condition of this hose clamp. Filler neck connects there to the body. Come in and another look. I kind of glanced over this. More of our cancerous rust. More of this going on. Got one more shock connection to the rear axle trailing arm, control arm, whatever it may be, over here, up there, there we go. This is some shoddy camera work, I do apologize to myself. There's our other connection to the body. And then, light here on some rusty bit, I hate doing that. All right, right side brake line, passenger side brake line. That will be coming out. There's another connection for this brake line that I saw earlier. Difficult to see, but it is in line. You can kind of imagine where my middle finger is. That's that line. Got this black box in the way. I think that's the EVAP system. Not entirely sure. <clears throat> And we've got a couple wiring harnesses here. Uh, should be going to fuel pump, ABS. So this one will be ABS wires. 
This one, EVAP, could be. Another tank strap bolt hiding back there. I've got a bunch of zip ties I didn't think were here. Yep, okay. That should be largely it. As I look around at things and try and figure out what else I need to remember goes where. I do have a uh, mounting point for the filler neck there. That's a point that would need to be tapped. The new steel would be, need to be tapped into. Uh, same goes for that brake line, left and right. This is the right side. <clears throat> Looking back over here, that steel's surprisingly decent. Right next to it though, not so much. And uh, we got our remainder there. Does not seem to go much past the heat shield for the muffler. That will be knocked out so that I can get the fresh steel in there. Anyhow, so I think I think back to face cam. So that's what I've got coming up. I'm not looking forward to this because I'm on my own. I reached out to some fabrication shops. They would not touch this. A metal supplier, they did not have the facility to work on it, and body shops told me, nah, no one's gonna touch this. So, I'm on my own. Unless someone sees this and reaches out in time, doubt it, don't have a big following. But maybe someone who needs to see what this looks like, apart from all the rest, that's trying to put one of these cars back together, Mad respect to you. Maybe you find this useful. I don't know. I might find it useful later as I'm putting everything back together. So let's, that's what tonight is for, just taking things apart. It's gonna be really hard with all these spots in my eyes. Seriously, this light is really bright. And this That's what it would look like. Starting here, three exhaust bolts of unknown installation date. At the very least, I know I've never tried to take them off. Um, hmm. Uh, need a bigger socket. <coughs> Okay, is it the 12 millimeter? Too loose. Is it the half inch? Woo, nope. Is it the 7 sixteenths? A very rusty no. Half it be. Maybe. Maybe not. I hate doing this, but here we go. Ooh, something cracked loose. Ooh. Um. Well. Let's see what I can do to the others. <clears throat> And don't look at me like that. We all have done it. Used our ratchets as hammers. Oh. Well, that's too broken. We're definitely buying new exhaust. Okay, now to the other end of this exhaust pipe. I ended up just shattering those bolts. Ooh, this might be tricky. I need leverage. <clears throat> Oof. Um, well, 
Strip that nut. myself in the head and that's another stuck thing snapped it does concern me that after I've shaken all this rust loose I'm not gonna have my car left And another one. <sighs> well, I don't know why I bothered with those bolts, because I'm just cutting this anyway. So after an hour of fighting, the exhaust is out. This muffler might be saved. This pipe, probably not. <coughs> Those are some snapped bolts. So a slightly better look at the driver's side. That's forward. This is cancer, more cancer, bad cancer. Moving back past our heat shield, we see more cancer. This is less important, but if I'm cutting stuff and doing the work, it might be worth it to get in there. Similar story to be told up here, only it's dark, because I haven't moved the light here yet. Here we are. Rust, 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 rust. Let's see if I can snap this bolt, probably. Maybe that one too. And it's brother on the other side. And I think I mentioned earlier, I reached out to machine shops and body shops, fabricators. Machine shops wouldn't answer my calls. One said they only do engines. The fabricators won't touch it because they don't need the liability of something working on something that goes on the road. And the body shops, well, if I had to guess, the body shops are flush with insurance work where they can charge more. I'm small potatoes. They're not going to waste their time. So, this is what we're left with. I'm going to try to fabricate new steel. It's going to mean making templates. It's going to mean trial. Trial, trial, error, 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 error. And after some time, I have no idea how much time, maybe success. This is all to pass inspection and keep this car on the road. I've had this car since 2008. It's 2022 right now. 14 years. 14 years owning this, what's the math now? 23 year old car that was never meant to make it this far. I won't wax poetic for too long. Don't know, like I said, don't know if this video is going to go live. It depends on how I feel. I don't know how much I'm going to cover this because this is a big project and I don't know how much I want to be worrying about camera angles and the like. I showed a little bit of what I did today, and I was mostly fighting rust. This is... Yeah. Let's see what happens.